I have already recorded the solutions to the rainbow problem. I forgot to mention, that's why I do that now, that I have assumed that all of you will have watched at least one of my rainbow lectures, so that you have a complete understanding why the red is on the outside, why the blue is on the inside, why the radius of the bow is about 42 degrees and why the center of the bow is the anti-solar point. You look at the sun behind you, you extend that all the way through the earth, that is the anti-solar point. I have assumed that you know that. I also advise you then <laughs> sometime in my solutions that you should be able to also see two rainbows, two primary bows, by having someone in the garden help you. Well, when you do that, I hope you are a little bit more gentle on your children or on your friends than I was. Because poor Emma was immensely suffering because it was freezing cold outside. You don't have to do that. You can do this during the summer. Last point is, somewhere in the solution I say indistinguishable and I meant to say unmistakable, <laughs> which is a big difference. So when I was standing in the shower and I saw the two primary bows, it was unmistakable. So now you can watch the solutions. Hello, 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 hello. I'm going to discuss with you the rainbow problem. And there is a nice history behind it. I had a house in Cambridge. And my bathroom had a window. And sometimes, depending upon the time of the day, the season, the sun would shine through that window into the shower. The shower was here, the window was there. And one day, more than 20 years ago, I saw two primary rainbows, unmistakable. Both rainbows had the red on the outside. And I immediately realized that the reason is that I have two eyes. I closed one eye, one rainbow would disappear, I closed the other eye and the other rainbow would disappear. Great fun. After that, I have tried to time my showers many times so that I would see again two rainbows. And I succeeded. Many times. <laughs> Not always. No. Suppose there are two people standing a distance d apart. Then the anti-solar point, which is the center of the of the circular shape of the bow, which is always below the horizon because the sun is above the horizon, those two centers are then a distance d apart if the people are separated by a distance d. So one person whose anti-solar point is here would see this bow, this is 42 degrees, and the other person for, who, for whom this is the anti-solar point below the horizon you would see this rainbow. And of course this angle would also be 42 degrees. Now, forget the fact that these are two people standing a distance deep apart. I have two eyes and they are 10 centimeters apart. So this D, the anti-solar point at the location <laughs> Through the Earth, the difference between the two is 10 centimeters. If the distance from me, or from you for that matter, to the rainbow that you see when you walk outside is capital L, then typical, capital L is a kilometer. The distance from you to where it rains 
if it rains where you are, you don't see a rainbow because it's important, of course, that between the sun and the rain, where you are, shouldn't rain. It should be a rain away from you. So the distance between you and the raindrops is capital L, and let's assume that it is one kilometer. Then the angular shift. because you know your eyes are 10 meters apart, the angular shift between the two rainbows, because you have two eyes, is d over l radians, which is 0 0.006 degrees. So there's no way, no way, that you could ever see two rainbows. You see one rainbow. 0 0.006 degrees apart. Now let's go to the picture that I showed you of Emma in the garden. My guess is that I was standing about five meters away from Emma, so I was about five meters away from the water drops. D is the distance between my eyes. Five meters, D over L, is now about one degree. So that means that the two rainbows were horizontally only shifted by about one degree. The width of the rainbow, from the red to the blue, is about two degrees. So this rainbow on the right, which was seen by one of my eyes, and this one on the left, were effectively on top of each other. A small but overlap, but undistinguishable. So I still would see one rainbow. Now I go to the shower. And there the water was perhaps 30 centimeters away from me. And it was there in that water that I saw two primary bows. So now D over L is 20 degrees. So the two were completely separated, undistinguishable. And given the fact that the sun was coming in this direction, the bows were for me like this and there was no rain here, so I was looking at this part of the bows. So I saw this part and this part, so distinctly separated by 20 degrees. And that's the answer to this problem. So Emma could have come closer to me. That doesn't have to be as close as 30 centimeters. She could have come at a distance to me probably one meter with the rain, with the water. Though I still would see two rainbows. Or I could have come moved to Emma, so that I would be about one meter from the water from Emma, then I would also have seen. Because if I go one meter, which is three times this, then the displacement would still be seven degrees. So the answer to the problem is, how can I see two primary bows? What should Emma do or what should I do? Emma should come closer to me at a distance maybe one meter with the rain, or I should move to Emma. And this is so much fun. You should try this. Now you may not be so fortunate that you have a shower with a window in the right way, but what you could do is outside. You could have your water hose and you can ask someone to spray the water and then you can walk closer and closer and closer to that water and then there comes a time you will see two primary bows. Close one eye and you will see only one eye, primary bow. Close the other eye and you will see the other primary bow. Isn't physics fun? Physics is wonderful. It's everywhere. Have a nice day. Take care. And try to be friends with me. That may not be so easy because you may never in your life see two primary bows unless you're willing to make it happen. Try it. You will like it. I can assure you that. <laughs>